One of the great things about being a professional chef is I get to experiment with cuisines from all around the world. I'm Daniel Green here in the Gourmet Kitchen to show you how you can too globalize your culinary repertoire with the Gourmet Peter Pro Flatbread Baker. Bread is the staff of life and every culture has their own way of making it. The Peter Pro easily bakes a lot of them. Middle Eastern pita bread, Italian focaccia, Indian naan, Mexican tortillas, and so much more. It's also great for pancakes, crepes, even omelets. If it's flat, the Peter Pro is on it. Today, we're going to bake up some fresh homemade pitas. Great for pocket sandwiches and a side for all kinds of Middle Eastern dips like baba ganoush and hummus. Pita dough is pretty basic. I bloom the yeast and sugar with warm water and let it sit for five minutes. Then I stir six ounces of bread flour. Let that rest for another five minutes, then add six ounces of whole wheat flour, salt and a little olive oil. We'll let that rise for an hour or so, or until it doubles in size. I've turned on the Peter Pro and set it to 425 degrees Fahrenheit to preheat. I divide the dough into eight pieces and roll each into a disc about one eighth of an inch thick. When the light comes on, the Peter Pro is ready. Place the Peter dough and close it up. Each pita bakes three to four minutes. And I like to wait a minute or two between pitas to let that non-stick surface get back up to full temperature. Remove the pita with a wooden paddle or a spatula and let cool on a wire rack. Although I don't know how cool your pitas will ever get because in my house, they tend to disappear while they're still warm and fresh. In case there's one or two left, they freeze beautifully and they're nicely reincarnated in a toaster oven. The included recipe book has step-by-step -step instructions for the pitas we just made, plus recipes for flatbreads, pizzas, Italian galettes, and sugar twists. You'll be inventing your own ways to use the Pita Pro before long. It's flat out the best way to bake flatbreads that I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. 